everybody so today I have a 12 by 16 canvas that I'm gonna be working on and I'm gonna be attempting to do um, the infinity pour and I have some leftover colors from a previous pour and I thought I would use them up so the first color I have is red from the fine touch it's uh, crimson with um, iridescent medium from uh, artist loft and then the rest of the colors are from Artist Loft. This is metallic orange, metallic phthalo green, metallic purple, metallic lemon yellow, and then metallic blue. And then I'm going to give my own little spin on it, and I'm going to be using my Cloud Effect White, which is half bare satin enamel and half Artist Loft uh, flow acrylic with my regular pouring medium. Uh, mixed in. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get my gloves on and I'll be right back. Okay, everybody, so I got my gloves on and I'm just going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to start with red in the first cup. All right, and then I'm going to put some of the cloud effect white in there. Now all the um, paints are mixed with Liquitex pouring medium, Floetrol in water, and the, all the colors have um, a little bit of Golden GAC mixed in. Okay. Put a little bit of the white on top of that. All right, so that's the first cup. Second cup, I'm starting with the blue. And then I don't have much of this yellow, so I'm gonna dump all of it in there. <laughs> all right, that's about all of that. Now I'm going to put the white. And now we'll go with the purple. Whoops. And a little more white on the top of that. Okay. Okay guys, so here we go. I'm just gonna bend my cup a bit and then I'm not very coordinated, but I'm gonna give this a try, all right? So here we go. There we go. Didn't have that mixed very good. All right. Okay, so I kind of got some cool stuff going on. You can see <laughs> there's some cells, some a little bit of cloud effect is happening there too. All right, so I'm just gonna start moving it around. It's, it's really crazy, like a ribbon, you know, like a ribbon pour. I'm just gonna try to get it on there a little even and then kind of run it off after. I'm just hoping there's no mud, is what I'm kind of hoping. Okay guys, so I'm going to take in for a close-up. It's been about 40 minutes and uh, this really doesn't look quite like the Infinity Pours from Mixed Media Girl. Um, 
adding the cloud effect white kind of changed it a little I think it sort of looks kind of cool I like all the the cloud effect that I got and I didn't get any mud so that's kind of what I was <laughs> more afraid of I did get some cool cells in here also there's one area right up here if I can zoom in this whole area looks so cool I like that um, as far as the whole thing I'm not really sure yet so I'm gonna go ahead and let it dry and then I'll be back all right stay tuned okay guys so here it is all dry my first infinity pour with my own little twist with the cloud effect I'm still not really sure how I feel about it um, there are some parts like this one right here that I still really like certain areas not so much but I'm just happy that I didn't get any mud like this area here purple and yellow tend to muddy orange and green tend to muddy so layering is very helpful I use white um, when I have colors that I think may muddy and it works out pretty good all right so there's my first infinity pour and don't forget to like my video subscribe to my channel and have a great day